Hey, 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 man, we got a 48 volt, has the shunt motor. What I'm gonna do now is show you how to test it. All you're going to need is a set of jumper cables, a 12 volt battery, or use your batteries that you have in your golf cart now. This is a shunt motor now. Now you can tell it's a shunt motor. If you look at the fuel line in here, see how it's small? That means it's a shunt motor. And you got your, your speed sensor, a series motor, which is a series, has thicker fuel winding coils, and it has no speed sensor. So what we're going to do, you got your studs here. What we're going to do, you got A2, F2. What we're going to do is take a battery, take a wire, do it, jump it like this. Can't see on the damn floor. And then what we're gonna do is take it, put a nut back on. You got you got a motor? Yeah. Put we can put this wire back on. Then you got your F1 and your A1. Back up, son. All right, F1 and your A1, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Do the same thing here, one. This is the first one of these I ever did, man. Most of the time I don't ever do this because I just check it with a voltmeter. I don't I don't do it like this. Um, but a lot of people been asking, so I figured I'd make a video, man. Uh, you got F1 and A1. Now I'm, I'm not gonna hand tighten it, man. Right now I'm just testing it. It ain't gonna hurt it. I ain't gonna run it but a second. All right, make sure none of the wires are touching. Then what I'm gonna do. All right, now what we're gonna do is hook the jumper cables, and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna separate the jumper cables here. I do it, baby. I hook one of them up. It doesn't matter how you hook them. Just hook one, two, F two. All right, got one hook there. And then what I'm gonna do is come up here, take my jumper cables, and you got your positive on this battery. Now the way it works, now you got this is eight volts. When you come over here, this is 16 volts. So I'm gonna do eight. I'm gonna put my positive here. Now I'm gonna take my negative. Hold it over there. Take my negative and come over here with it. Like this. So if you step back and look at it, it's on two batteries. All right? Because this battery is connected to this battery here. So we're doing two batteries. All right? All right, now we have this. And what you wanna do, put your foot on it. So right, I'm gonna show you again, nobody gets any questions. This right here, one, like this. All right, Jay, touch it down there. Put your foot on it. And touch it to it, it's gonna spin, so just touch it. Don't hold it on there, just touch it. All right, and touch it to it. It doesn't matter if you got negative, positive, it don't matter, man, just do it. Yeah. Now you hear that rubbing? All you want to do is hold it. You don't want to let it sit and rub like that because it will cause problems. That's good. Don't hold it no more than what he did, which is about three to four seconds. But that's how you test it, man. Simple as that. If the motor spins, it ought to spin on the car. All right. Um, if you want to test the fuel wind, make sure the fuel wind is not shorted. But it, it ain't gonna be shorted if the motor turns. Uh, you can watch my other videos. I got 300, over 350 videos, probably 400 by now. Best there is out there. All right, stay tuned, man. Subscribe, man. Golf Cart Whisper. Subscribe.